Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. I'm in the middle of the expedition for a speed run, and I want you to note the time at the side here. This is not going to be an official run, but I wanted to show you basically what it's like to finish out a speed run. We're at the 50 minute mark on this. And I'm just going to check something real quick, because according to this, I think I've got... So I only got 11 plants. I got to get more plants. I've got to get definitely more underwater creatures. And I'm not mistaken, this planet I landed on has water on it. Yep, it's over there. I think. Oh, no, oh, it's over there. Red. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not interested in somebody's base. I'm just interested in the water beneath. I want to discover some more creatures real quick. And we're going to show you. Now, I planted my plants at my base to that clock up there at around the 42 minute mark which is fantastic it's what i'm going to attempt to do on my live run on saturday now this video has been released on saturday morning it's actually being done on a friday night and i'm hopefully going to get everything completed here by the 40 hour and 41 minute mark so i can get my plants i just want to go down here we're going to go ahead and scan some plants because we need to so get them while we're down here. Looks like we already got some creatures showing up. Let's go ahead and grab them. One. There's two. I could really use a whole bunch. Let's see. It's kind of an odd thing that I'm recording halfway through in the actual creation of a video. But I wanted to get that done. Or at least the posterity of saying, hey, I can do this. All right, there we go. I got four more creatures. That's great. So let me see here. That means I'm up to seven. All right, I just need three more of those. So taking a look, you'll see I just have this to complete out. And I've just got to get to Rendezvous 2. We had just completed Rendezvous 1. We just literally completed Rendezvous 1. We're going to get to Rendezvous 2. So let's go ahead and head out of here. I gotta get my steps in, but I've already got half of them. And it should go pretty quick. It's a lot of running around in the space sta in, in some space stations. So here we go. We got rendezvous one done, and I'm gonna head out of this system. We're gonna be heading to rendezvous two, but we got us we got some place to stop along the way. Okay, so we go off the path usually with this but lately they've been throwing me into a different path so let's go ahead and get moving here okay moving okay it's going to that planet now the planet I want to go to is Anawara it's a space station that it's in a pirate system I think it's over here oh is that Nope, that's not it. Nope. And I'm now I'm going to have trouble finding it, right? That's what's going to happen here. I think... Because they keep moving it on me. Now, they don't move the system, per se. They just basically... My direction that they're sending... Ah, there it is, Anawara. It's a pirate system. And it's out of my jump range, 127. Let me see, how far can I go? I need to check. My starship has the ability to go... I do not have any supercharged slots this time around. Ah, but I can get my indium drive now. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Should give me the boost I need. Let's try it one more time. So we kind of know where it is. It keeps doing that. Okay, Anawara was up there. 127 it should be. There it is. And it looks like it's just within range. All right, good deal. So, being this is the special system here, first of all, I'm going to try for some upgrades. My scanner up needs to be upgraded. My hyperdrive obviously needs to be upgraded. I can get some X-Class upgrades, and we're going to gamble it. The second thing that this system is great for is it's got three anomalous planets in it. So I can land at all three planets, pick up three exotic creatures, and one swell foop, as I like to say. Okay, let's go. Outlaw system, as it says. And in we go. 
So rather than doing this part live, we're going to try to do it live on Saturday night. Right about 4.30 is when we're going to start Eastern Time. And we're going to see if we can get this thing done in under an hour and 20. Now, Jason, I understand, is going to try to do it as well. But he has yet to do it with planting plants. So that's going to be very interesting. That's what the rule is on this one. We like to plant the plants. And they take one hour to grow. But it, you got about a good hour of extra time to do. So there's our scanner upgrade. And we're going to get three of those. Hopefully this will get what we want. Put this in my multi-tool. Come on. Give me fauna. Give me mineral. That gave me flora. And we only have one fauna. So we're going to need another upgrade, which we're going to get later on. So, because I've got one at my ninth hyperspace jump. So let me go back to my ship. We're going to take off and go to one of those planets. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in while we're here. So it only increased a little bit, 132 and 100. So that's all right. So we need to go down here, get away from those ships. And this is our first anomalous planet. Just need to land and scan a creature. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, get over the hill and then drop down. That's good. Don't care what we destroy on the way. Now, there's aggressive sentinels here, because we, so we don't want to stay long. Scan the plants. We need them. Plant life. Let's get that, too, while we're here. As we wait for an animal to show up. There's one right there. And hopefully, we get 128,000. So that's not what we get. Let me just check something. Yeah, we, need, we definitely need more scanner upgrade, so we're going to have to hold off getting another scanner. Getting our sixth planet, I should say. So let's get out of the system, out of the planet real quick. And our two planets that we need to go to, I think, are over here. Yep, that's them. Go to this one first. And then we go to that blue one. And this will get, this one's scaly, that one is fungal or something like that. Spores? Spores or something like that. We'll check it out here in a moment. Now hopefully we'll have this done within the hour. I actually want to see if I can't complete this on our timer on the right hand side of your screen within 45 minutes. I'm hoping. Look like we had a lot of expedition to complete, but trust me, you're going to be getting multiples of them at one time. I've diverted my power, not to my weapons, actually, but to my engines, because I want to get down quicker if I can. I don't know if it has any effect on your pulse engines, but I'll be testing that theory out as well. If you can land while you're closer to the ground, you can usually get away with uh, landing quicker, too. Ah, there's one over there. Over the rise, it's not an aggressive sentinel planet. We'll get 128 for him, too. Back to my ship, which is blending in. Off we go. If we can get it right. There, that's the planet I think we want to go to. No, yep, Shroomsh. That's the planet. There we go. That's the rattling planet. That's not the planet I'm looking for. Wrong one. It should be... Hold on a second. Oh, wait, was that it? Nope, back to Rattling Planet. It should be over here. Blue. Ah, that was a waste of time. I think I wasted a good 20 seconds there. And when you're in a speed run, 20 seconds can be a lot of time, so you gotta be careful. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, why didn't you record the rest of your whole thing here? You're probably asking that. And there's a reason for it. First of all, I wanted to keep this to about an hour. And I thought the last hour would be a nice touch. Um, you will see a live version of this from beginning to end on Saturday afternoon. I've got pretty much the first part of this down very, very well. So we'll see what happens here. 
Now there's only one plant on this entire planet if you happen to have it nearby. I think it's that one. In our galaxy. There's only one plant here, so I'm not worried about trying to find it. We'll find other plants as we go. What we not want is the red dots to appear, and I'm not seeing them appear. Let me get a little further out. And we'll get it. Yep, there it is. And boom. I don't know what we got for the animal discovery. And off we go. Alright, so we got all three. Let's get out of here, Ronda Rendezvous 2. Okay. So we're going to take it straight to Rendezvous 2, or we should be able to. There we go, yes. So Rendezvous 2. This one I'm just going to basically land at and leave. We don't get a scanner upgrade here. We can't find anything until beyond Rendezvous 3. Our next jump after Rendezvous 3. And Rendezvous 3, by the way, we got a lot of things to do there. We got four different portal addresses to go through. Uh, some, some swimming to do. Everything's going to be involved on Planet 3. Okay. Where is it? Should be to our right. There it is. Okay, good. Let's see if we can line up. There we go. Off we go sure we're lined up okay looks like we are this is a good time to check and see what kind of upgrades you got now this this one I haven't gotten because I don't see any reason to get decorative part spaces but I'll go ahead and leave it out just so we don't have it clogging up our inventory the one is almost done except for this two we're doing that right now we will get these later three we'll get to rendezvous three by then we will have this one we should have uh, this one and we will have visited a red star on the way there, I believe. Yes. And then four. We got ten aquatic creatures. We only need three more. We'll get this one there. We will have already done that. Hopefully we can get this later on and then we'll get these. And then five. So we got seven more plants to go. We will already get this at number three. We'll get this at number three. We will get that towards the end. And we just got to earn our nanites. So one thing we can do, here's here's something you can do too, by the way. Go to your discoveries or your last system if you can remember where you were. Um, Anawara is where we were. You go to all these planets, go to your discoveries, get an extra 250. Okay. Nope, not that one. Go to Arit, same thing, another 250. And then this one. And get your last 250. And then while you're at it, get an upload, and you'll get some more. Okay, so what that gets you, see, we're already up 6,000. We need 1,500 more nanites. And if you look in your inventory, you should already have enough to get rid of. Like, if I get rid of these three, that would give me 1,000 right there and a little bit more. So we'll be good. And we will get more nanites later. We have three more planets, so it'll get me 750 more right off the bat. All right, looks like we're approaching Rendezvous 2. Ah, okay. We flew past it just a little bit because it was aiming for something else. Let's get in here. Rendezvous 2... ...was not over here. It was over this way. Yeah, over here. Those are our live base. That's funny. Was it over here? Oh, you're going to catch me on this one, aren't you? You're going to make me look around for it now. It was an archive. Nope, should be over here. Hold on. There it is. Wow. Flying right next to it and it couldn't find me. Okay, we got all of our animals. We need aquatic creatures and plants. There it is. Let's go ahead and get out of here. 
Now, you want to get your rendezvous because they give you 1,200 nanites apiece. Plus some nice upgrades. Alright, so we're done here. There we go. We're very close to making that goal. So we're going to head out of here. So rendezvous 2 is done. We're going to look for a blue star and then a red star. We don't have to go in any particular order. So let's go ahead and grab... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's go for you. And we're going to grab an anomalous one at one of these and an anomalous planet at a second one of the... at, at the... at rendezvous... Th Let me just check here. At the rendezvous 3 system, yes. Alright, if you want to know... Go into your menu, because you know someone's already discovered the system, so check your planets. we got a redacted planet. If it has more than one, it's not a planet you want to land on. we got Sporal, it probably does, yes. Also eight. I see Abhorrence, nine. This one has nine. So we do have one planet called Mapur that can, that can get us what we need here. Let's find out where that is. Might be beyond here. Let's check. To Delta... That's pretty far away. Boiling. You. You're the icy one, I'm guessing. So yeah, it's on the other side of you. Let's go around the outside real quick. Russian mining camp? Okay. There it is. It doesn't look like it's actually too far away. Not terrible. Let's go. And then once we get our anomalous creature here, we will continue our jumps until we'll get our red star, and then we're going to immediately jump to the Rendezvous 3 system after that. So we have a jump range now of about 438. I would like it to be higher, but we will get it on one of our upgrades, which by the way, we're going to go ahead and collect our rewards because we'll get our underwater Nautilin chamber, which we need. There we go. Land. Got an aggressive sentinel here, so, so we got to be careful. There he is over there. Right there. If we had that other upgrade, we'd be getting 200,000 for it, and then we could call that one done, too. But let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay. You only got 5,000 steps. So we're going to need a lot more steps. We'll get them on, on our on another planet here. No problem. All right. Off to, th to our red star system, which I just want to check, make sure. We can get one further out. That would be better. Boy, you can't even make anything out. They're so bright. Yeah, we'll go to you. Doesn't make a difference what system we go to as long as we hit one. We just got to get in and get out. And we got a little over a half hour to go. Let's get the achievement. There it is. Off we go. I think our hyperdrive is okay. We'll find out in here in a second. Yeah, we're okay. And can we go straight there? We can. Good. Rendezvous 3 it is. All right, so we got a lot to do here. We're going to get our Paradise World as soon as we arrive, and then we're going to land on Hippenmore real quick, which is an anomalous planet. That'll be our fifth planet. Now, the black hole system we're going to go to has an anomalous planet there, too. All right. Yep, we got it. One thing I forgot to do. There. That's where we're headed. Okay. Now let's check our rewards real quick. Supreme launch thrusters are kind of handy. We'll go ahead and grab it. 
And eternal garden, not anything I need. So we'll stick here. Launch thrusters. We're going to go ahead and grab that and put that over here. And get rid of your anomaly or it'll start calling out for you. You don't want that. That's annoying. Pulse engine needs to be charged. Launch thrusters. Could probably use it. I'm going to use that one of those. Where are you going? You need to go over there. There we go. We lined up. Yeah. Anything else need charging? Hyperdrive's in good shape. Life support could really do boost. Everything else looks okay. There. Okay, we're all set. You know what we should do real quick while I'm thinking of it? Is this the one we went to? Yep, I have no idea what the last system I went to was. Might have been this one. This one? This one. Never mind. Don't worry, we'll get our nanites. We're almost there. Rendezvous 3 will actually give us our nanites now that I think about it. So this is our portal. Let's land and take what we can get here. Down we go. I want to be done with this, hopefully by the 25 minute mark. So let's go over here. We'll get our achievement. There it is. Let's go ahead and grab it. Because that'll give us our nanites. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this thing up. Because we need to do this. Uh, oxygen. Nothing like it telling me that it's recharged every single time I drop something on here. Should have plenty of everything to get this charged up and there we go okay so our first set of coordinates okay activate it so we need bird bird balloon dragonfly and then triforce whale balloon face See TP Moon Dragonfly Moon. There we go. This will be our first planet. Don't remember which one this one is. I think it's F. Uh, it's Ekbat. If I'm not mistaken. Ekbat. Ekbat. I used to jump through these. Now I just walk right through because I want to get some extra steps in. I should be able to conjure up at least 500 to 1,000 steps by running around these planets. But it shouldn't take me long. Come on. There we go. Hudsley. No, this is a different planet. Unwelcome. This is their unwelcome planet. So we don't really have anything to gather here, except I am going to get some plants. And three. That should be enough. Travel via portal. Let me see if we got the plant one, too. How many plants do we have left? Let me just check. We have four more plants to discover. And I don't think there's any more here I can gather right up front. Yeah, there's one or two more. Okay, that'll give me enough. Let's go ahead and run back. Again, we want to get the steps in. Use your jetpack as little as possible in this. If you're in the anomaly, inside the space station anomaly, 
run. Do not use your jetpack. Just keep walking. You'll get hundreds of steps in there. Did that myself earlier. I'll get about at least 200 to 300 steps just going back and forth to Polo. Okay. Clear. And... Next address, please. Alright, so we're going to go Dino face face Dino. Uh, Triforce Whale Balloon Face. Triforce Whale Balloon Face. Uh, spider Moon Dragonfly Face. Okay. Sideways running. Love it. So jetpack does not count towards your walking goal. You have to literally have both feet on the ground, left and right stepping it all the way. That's a tough one to get, folks. 8,000 steps is tough running. I usually have about 5,000 by the time I leave my first planet, but... But we'll see. Here, we're on FCAT now. Scan your plants. And you're looking for the biggest animal here. There, that should get me my plants. There we go. Botanist is done. And just look for those red ones. I don't need storm crystals. I've already got them. That is not the biggest creature. But we'll take it. Is that him? That's him. Right there. We got him. Okay. Seven meters high. So that's the guy we're looking for. Getting, whoop. Nope. Don't want to go in. I forgot. I'm going through back through the portal, aren't I? Ha, ha, ha. 5,300 steps. Boy, it's going to be tough. Um, the hot planet that we're going to be going to, either, I think it's the next one, if I'm not mistaken, is going to have a lot of steps. Because the creature I need to find there is hard to find. He's hard to come by. Doesn't always show up when you want him to. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, give me the portal. All right. Moon, bird, face, sun. Moon, bird, face, sun. Triforce, boat, balloon, face. Triforce. Boat. I almost had it wrong. Balloon, face. Uh, whale, moon, dragonfly, dragonfly. Whale, moon... Two dragonflies. All right. We got one more to go to after this. And we won't leave the planet at 25. We just got to complete all our portals before then. Love it. So you'll see we've completed three more milestones by portaling to these planets. And the portal is not counting towards your end time. So the more time you spend inside of a portal, it pauses your game time play. All right. This is the hot planet, as you can see. And we're in the middle of a firestorm. Ah, storm's clearing. You notice it's, it also has storm crystals. I, I got to stop doing that. I keep doing that myself. Need to run. That's not one of the creatures I'm looking for, but I'll go ahead and grab him anyway. Take a look around. The creature we're looking for is a rolling creature. Very small. That might be him. I think we got him. That was it. Unbelievable. Okay, that went a lot quicker than I expected. Usually takes a while. I usually have to run around quite a long time. 
it's a I'm, I'm up to 5700 steps but 2000 is going to be tough to come by okay got one more portal to go to and then we got to go underwater and we're at the 121 mark just about Anomaly. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Focus. All right. So balloon, sun, dragonfly, sun. Okay. Triforce whale balloon face. Okay. Spider moon dragonfly face. Spider moon dragonfly face. Last one. That was weird. I have to admit that was very strange looking. I thought he would go through the portal very easily, but he didn't go through the portal. I don't know why that is. Who knows? So this one is supposed to give me... Rosive. That's what this one is. And I already know how this one works. So I'm going to go over here. Now, normally I jetpack to the hill over there, but seeing as I'm so low on steps, I'm going to go ahead and walk it this time. I seem to get fortunate by going to this planet. Animals show up, and I get the one almost immediately. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. Not you guys. Should be a wandering one. There's one. That might be it. Yeah, he's got the wings. There we go. So we got four of them <clears throat> taken care of in it looks like less than 10 minutes. <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm trying to get to 125. And I'm just past the 123 mark, so that's pretty good, even though I was interrupted at one point. There we go. And off we go through the portal. All right. So now we need to build the Nautilin, and we need to look for the underwater temple. I should have everything I need to build it, plus I've already got the fuel cell. I haven't made it yet. I'll have to make a fuel cell. Okay, ship. Let's go over here. Okay, so we need to fly away from here. Now, the water is nearby, but this one always points to one that's really kind of nasty. So I like to get out of the atmosphere, point my way back down, and hit one of the shorelines over there in the distance. And just land at an island or something here in the water and call it a day. There we go. Uh, let's see. How about that one? And down. So let's go ahead and build our Nautilin chamber. And we're going to immediately delete the landing pad. Let's get on board for a second because we're going to want to build stuff in here so let's build this we have everything to build it and I think can we do we have a fuel cell we do not I think it's going to require something no we got everything we need we got the cytophosphate and everything okay so we'll need that later let's get out scan immediately jump out okay submerged ruins are detected and they're over here. So the reason I'm not going to... I fueled it up is in case I can't get an island really close here, I'll use the Nautilin to get to it. But it looks like I might get lucky here. Because it looks like there's one right here near it. Um, and I missed it. 
somehow. Don't you love when that happens? That was weird. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. So whereabouts is it? How far? It actually might be easier if I just do it this way. That actually is going to work because that one platform down there will allow me that little spot I was able to run on will give me the boost I need. So I'm not going to bother with the Nautilin. See, we're already there. Not bad at all. So this is going to get us two more of the milestones right here in one shot. Okay. And we need to find... Let's just go that one. There we go. Open it. We already have our pearl. And this gives us that and that. Okay, where is our ship? That way. And while we're here, grab your three aquatic creatures. One. They have four or five on this planet already. So two. And three. Another milestone completed. So we're doing really good. We'll check out what milestones we have left. But it shouldn't be many. Because we only got a few more jumps to do. And we still got 10, 15 minutes maybe, tops. Yeah, that was actually much better to do it that way. I don't know what happened there. Okay, that worked. And we're on our way. Excellent. Let's get out of here. We're done with this system. So now we get to go to our next system, which is going to be a system that they purposely throw you at, which has a battle going on. There it is. Do you see that the fifth, or pardon me, fourth uh, portal doesn't show up. Uh, rendezvous. Pardon me. The fourth rendezvous doesn't show up. There's a really fast way to get out of the battle, though. But we definitely need to stop by the space station here because it has a scanner upgrade that will help me. As long as it has a fauna upgrade, we should be in good shape. You do gamble a little bit with the S-Class upgrades as, as well, but not as much as the X-Class. So, get up here to the lead ship and act like you're about to land. And, boop, gone. You know, you have to worry about it. Now we just need to find the space station. There it is. And once our hyperdrive or pulse drive gets activated, there it is. We can pulse there. We can see we got over 6,000 steps here. So this is good. And we wouldn't have had to stop here had we got our better scanner upgrades, X-Class upgrade on the uh, pirate station. If we did, we wouldn't be here. So, we've got to go over here and get a scanner upgrade. And that is here. And we are actually going to do it while we're sitting here, because I need to get rid of... Well, let's just go ahead and grab it. And put it in. And it is... Fauna. Thank God. Okay. Let's get rid of you. You don't need you. Alright. Let's go. So this is going to get us where we need to go. Now we just need to go to the last anomalous planet. And get ourselves a... Scan. That should get us what we're looking for. I hope. And I don't think this system has it, if I remember correctly. Oh, it does. Yeah. It does. That's right. It does have a planet. But if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't give me enough money for that creature. Let's get going. 
I know we're going to get another one. So let's go to upgrade four. And actually, it doesn't have it yet. Uh, one thing I got to do. One of these upgrades has an upgrade as a uh, update for your hyperdrive. Auto charge and supreme hyperdrive upgrade. That's the one. It's worth taking a moment to do it. Hyperdrive module. There you go. 132. One of these has 100% deficiency and 100 light years. Okay. Put you in. There, 982. That's much better. And while we're at it... There we go. Launch recharger. Good. Now we can get to rendezvous 4. So that's worth actually taking a few seconds to get it done because we can go straight there. Boom. Less jumps and less chance of getting into another battle at this point. So that's good. We got about 10 minutes before our crops are fully mature. Give or take. Now this one has an ocean at it, but we're not going to worry about that. And we want to do that. There we go. It's just so you know where we're at. Nearly complete. we got to get more steps. All complete. Nearly all complete, but we'll get that at the end. we got almost all this complete. We're going to be going through a black hole later, so that's not a problem. We still have to discover our creatures, so that's going to be tough, and we're about to hit this one. And five is nearly complete, except for the exotic animals. Again, we'll get that. We have two more planets to land on to discover creatures on unfortunately so we'll get one here shortly and then we got number five and I don't think this system has any bountiful desert rainy and then paradise okay yeah no it doesn't so we need one more anomalous planet two more and then we got that one so this might take a little extra more time than I thought because we got 10 minutes. And these rendezvous are so far. I'm going to see if that boosts me a little quicker. I don't know if it will. Hopefully. We'll see. Three, twenty-two, eighteen. 18... No, it doesn't seem to make any difference on the pulse drive. The, ch the time to get there doesn't seem to change. So that was a good experiment right there. So it only it only has anything to do with your with your engines as far as regular engines are concerned, regular flight. Nice. Okay, Rendezvous Four is a freighter, and it's right at the edge, right here, near where that guy's base is, and it's right in that clearing that I'm heading straight towards. Get there quickly, slow down as you approach, and hopefully the landing pad appears, and you can grab it. There we go. We just need to get out. Hello. There we go. Okay. We're done with this. Let's get out of here. We're not going to bother with claiming it because there's no reason to. Okay, we can get out of the system immediately. So we're going on to Rendezvous 5. Thing is, is that again, we need another anomalous planet. So I'm going to go and stop somewhere that is a different star. Like right here. This ought to do. Red star system real quick. They usually have an anomalous planet at it. I'm going to go ahead and grab the anomalous creature, then go on to Rendezvous 5. And hopefully that'll get us to about the 140 mark. I'm hoping. And real quick, and let's see if anyone's discovered the system. Go figure, right? Grassy, icy, airless. Nothing. Bubbling. One, that would be bubbling. Lost, 12, no. And six. So we want to find the bubbling planet, with it, which is, yeah, Ruvulneo. Okay, Ruvulneo. Okay, bubbling. Is it that planet right in front of us? I hope so. No, it's not. So now we got to look. 
That shouldn't be it. Nope. Right behind us. Are we fortunate? Nope, that's icy. Ah, good, and it's not far. Let's go ahead and head towards it. Night mold farm. I don't know who that guy is that creates all these mold farms, but he's, he gets around. I think he's created about 400 bases in the entire expedition. Very impressive. No, we're not going to intercept it. Uh, hyperdrive needs upgrading. Uh, updating, sorry. Charging. Got to get the power to the engines so we can land quicker. Drop. 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 Drop faster. Faster. Thank you. Creature appear, please. There's one. See how much money we get for it. Yes! We got it. Out of here. That was good. Back to the galaxy map. And you know what? Why don't we do that one more time? Because the next one might be more difficult. Let's go to this planet right here. This system right here real quick. Because we're not at 140 yet. We'll see what happens. All right. Is this it? Windswept. I don't think that's it. Let's check. We only got two planets erupting. That's six. So this backfired on me. Let's get out of here. Only if you took me a few extra seconds, so that's not terrible. So I'm thinking let's go to one more system because I want to get this last one if we can. There is one in the black hole system that we'll go to. But it's much further out, and then I gotta come back to the black hole and go through it. So I'm trying to avoid doing that. I'm trying to avoid taking any more time. We've got two minutes to spare here. Grr. Go figure, right? Hey, what are you? Ah. So I don't need that. What do we got? Hex hexagonal has one. So that is what? Digon. Okay, so Digon, I think, is the one we want to go to. Is that the one in front of me? I don't know. Yep, this is going to be tough. Ah, Fargy. We're going to have to find it now. So, see, this is wasting our time now. Let's get away from these guys. Okay. And where can we go? Fargy. That's the one we're looking for. Okay, so that didn't take too long. That took an extra few seconds, but we got it now. And not far. That's the important part. So this will be the last one. Then we'll go to rendezvous 5. Pull in the anomaly. Get our black hole coordinates. New system. Hit the black hole. But we got to get our steps in too. That's the tough part. That's going to waste a lot of time. Okay, we landed pretty quick here. Now we just need a creature to pop up faster. By one of those little plopper things that pop up out of the ground. Oh, what well, do you know? We got a grave site nearby too. Go figure. Up oh, there he is. Okay, we got it. Let's get out of here. We're at 140 right now, and let's get out. on our way. Didn't want to get involved in that pirate fight. It might have been able to be possible for me to go to the lead ship and hit it again, and that might have taken it. 
gotten rid of the, like the last battle, but it's really not worth trying. It's just a waste of time. So we wasted enough time trying to find the planet in question. Hopefully there's not another battle going on. Good. Okay, good. All right, we need rendezvous five, which I think is right in front of us. Get that off my screen. There we go. Yep, that's what I thought. And we're locked in. Okay, we should be locked in. Pretty close. Checking our stats. One's almost complete. Two is complete. Three, got to get the plants. Four, just got to go through a black hole. Five, we just got to land at the rendezvous. And we're done. And we're looking at the time. We're coming up on 142. There we go. We have 40 seconds to get there, it looks like. So that's going to put us at the 142 mark. So we're going to probably hit my planet around 145, I'm guessing. But I want to be below 150. That is my main, main goal here. 145 would be a great thing. But the problem is I still got those, like, 2,700, 2,600, uh, pardon me, 1,600 steps to get. So that's going to be the rough part. Because that takes time. <laughs> takes time to walk. Okay, we are not lined up. It made it look like we were lined up, and we're not. See, it gives that little flutter thing, makes it look like we're lined up, but we're not. Alright, so we've got... This is going to be an archive... But we want to head for those guys. There it is. All those communication bubbles. Great. Don't you love when that happens? Unbelievable. One of the little glitches in No Man's Sky that they never seem to be able to fix. Got to get over here, let it discover. There we go. Turn around, start running back. Do not use your jetpack. See? We're at 6,500. We're out of here. Get the anomaly. we got to go to Polo. That'll give us about two or 300 more steps. Oh, boy, this is going to be tight today. Hopefully we don't pass the 150 mark. I'm really hoping we don't. Now we did hit our escape menu a few more extra times here, so we'll see what happens. Hoping to pull like a 118 or a 117 out of this. Don't hit the jetpack. We're going to run around the long way. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that's right, I never recharged it before I got in the ship. So, walk slower. There we go. Okay. Polo. That's not what I want. That's okay. Okay, there we go. Got the black holes. Gotta go down this pathway, not the other one. Alright. And run to my ship. So how's my steps doing? We're probably at about 67, 6800 now. Didn't tell me. There it is, 6700. Okay, good. That's better. But not where we want to be. Okay, black hole time. Okay, so this is going to delay. Okay, fade back. There you go, where'd you go? There you go. One jump. We're going to go straight for the black hole. We have to go back and harvest our plants, and then run another thousand feet. Can we do it in five minutes? Less than five. I'm hoping to do it in about three. Uh, we'll see. See that planet in the distance? That is an anomalous planet. Get my engine.
engine's going a little quicker. There we go. Every second counts. Every second counts. Let's see what happens here. I hear car doors outside, so hopefully nobody's trying to come in the house anytime here. Problem with having to record this in your living room. Okay. Whoa, okay. Get control. Alright, we're landing. Last time we'll have to use our ship. Oh, good landing spot too. Yep, I know. Landed and ended up through a black hole, we know. Thank you for keeping keeping up with us. We're going up the the short way, sorry. Okay. My bases, that one, go. This looks like it's going to be my shortest time, but we'll see what happens. My shortest on the main clock is, a, is an hour and 51, so we'll see. Four minutes faster at the moment, but we haven't completed it yet. We've got a lot of running to do. There we go. Okay, where did I put my plants? There they are. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. That should take care of that one. We just got one more to do. Twelve hundred steps. So we're going to go 600 in this direction, we'll 600 back. Look at them, they're all on a trail there. Must be migrating. I'm just going to kind of circle around here. We're at 7,000. One more thousand steps to go. One more thousand? One more thousand, that's what I said. Yes, one more thousand. One thousand more steps to go. And we're at 148. We are literally running out of time. Yes. Terrible dad bun. I apologize. No, I don't. We deal with it. Running out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life support. Ah. I can't believe I'm going to lose this because I can't get 8,000 steps in. <laughs> Again, I said this in another episode uh, at another point. If we could just add a boost to running, like a 10% or 20% speed boost, that would be awesome. Habit. I just call that habit. 7,600. Come on, we got 400 steps to go, and I got less than a minute. Come on. Faster. This is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Two fifty to go. I tried using animals too, like riding on one of your one of your pets. Doesn't count. So don't try to do that. 150. Look at this. I cannot believe this. We got 100 steps to go. There we go. 50 steps. 20. Ah, couldn't get in the ship fast enough. There we go. Done. So, we're going to stop the timer. Phase one is complete. 
two is complete, three complete, four complete, five complete, and of course everything's complete. Let's go ahead and get out, and we're not even going to wait, okay? Let's see what our time was. Top one. one fifteen, folks. One hour and 15 minutes. That is going to be the attempted record on the live stream on Saturday night. See, my best time was one nineteen. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. That's my best personal time. My best time when I played live was one i I've got 15 minutes off of it now. If I can get this, I'll be all set. But we'll see how Jason does. Jason's going to give his shot tomorrow, and we all know the luck of the Jason. So, hey, thanks for watching. I know this is a little bit of a long video, but I hope you enjoyed this last ending to the expedition. And for those of you who have, who have finally uh, gotten a little bored of Starfield, welcome back to No Man's Sky. And I'm Alon Paul. Hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next video.